So it started with the P0489 um, fault I received the uh, first time. Um, so it said exhaust gas recirculation control circuit. Though it didn't specify a particular circuit, uh, which I could reset. Then uh, for after some time, I got P040521. And here it's sort of um, EGR sensor A circuit low. So sensor A um, is the right hand side. Um, which I learned the hard way. I thought it was the left-hand side and bought the kit for the left-hand side. Bought the valve for the left-hand side, but it was uh, the, the right-hand side, actually. <clears throat> so the um, so what I did was... Um, um, so I plugged in, got the live stream data. Um, so as you can see, um, the way I sort of um, found out was... This is, um, as you can see, this is a valve bank zero which is the left side left hand side position and this is the right hand side which is bank one position which is five percent five percent i think is the default so when it's close it's five percent for some reason that what's it, that's what it shows in the icar soft version three diagnostic tool um but when i was revving up it was sort of um command it was following the commands it was if it, the command was 20 then it was going 20 if it was 30 um but when I was um, turning the engine off and when the there's a cleaning cycle, I could see bank zero was only going between 5 to 70 and back, 5, 70 and back, whereas bank one was going all the way 5 to 99 and 90, 95 and back. So which um, got me to think that um, bank zero or the, or the right hand side was stuck because during the cleaning cycle, what happens, uh, as you would have noticed after you turn off the engine, uh, you'll hear the click for five times, five or six times, where the valve will be turned on um, just to clean up. So it'll just keep uh, turn on and off. Uh, and the position wasn't sort of, it's it was giving me between five to 70% only. So indicating the, suggesting the, um, the valve was stuck and wasn't as free as the left hand side. So what I've done is I've bought both valve now and I'll be replacing it uh, in coming uh, next weekend. I'll be uploading a video of them as well, but uh, this was purely for the diagnosis uh, side of it. I've got an easy way to test uh, an EJ valve for Fort Territory or uh, the Land Rover Discovery 3 um, engine. So this is a uh, Valio uh, PBT GF30. Um, so this is um, compatible for, I think, Discovery, 2000, uh, Discovery 3 2005 to 2009 model. So there's a little uh, wiring diagram of the connector there. So if you can see, there's, a, there's life, uh, two left thin connectors, then two thick in the middle. Uh, the fifth, um, and there's a gap there, and then the last a small pin on the side. So first, um, first two are the signals, which I um, don't need for this test. And then there's um, pin number three and four is, three is positive and four is negative. Uh, five is blank and six is for the signals. So what I've done is I've got a 9 volt battery and a little connector. So I bought this connector for $2 from eBay. So I'm going to put the red, which is the positive, <coughs> on the positive and uh, black on the f uh, on the negative, which is uh, pin number 4. So 3 is positive and 4 is... So you can see... I don't want to short this out. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's sort of so that's where the valve is. So I've sort of cleaned up as a as best as I can, and you can see it comes out uh, and back and forth pretty pretty good. So it's not that bad. But this is the valve that wasn't faulty, but I decided to change anyway. So I'll quickly I'll show you the second one, which is faulty. Okay. So this is the second one, which is a faulty one. So yeah. So again, number three is the positive pin and four is the negative. As you can see, it's not coming out. It's sort of stuck, it doesn't move um, smoothly. So the whole bearing inside here is, um, uh, is damaged and as you can see, it's stuck half open. Quarter open, so. Um, 
so yeah, this is faulty. Uh, and this is one of the maybe cheap and easy way to test using a 9 volt battery. Uh, I'll show you from this side how the valve itself operates. Alright, so as you can see, I'll show you again. Uh, that's how it should be moving. So this is the one that hasn't gone bad as yet. So I'll keep that as a backup and this one is something I'll be I'll put the keep these connector parts and dispose it off. Okay, so I'll do a, do it a second time to show you how the this uh, valve works. So as you can see whenever I, whenever there's a power supply uh, the valve opens. Uh, and close when it's they're not there. So default position is close. So this is the one that wasn't broken yet. So I've taken out and uh, replaced it anyway as a precaution, but I'll keep it as a spare just in case. So yeah, that's how you test uh, an easier valve for a TDV6 uh, 2.7 liter engine.